If you asked me to describe my dad, I would have to say in a word, he was extraordinary. My dad could relate to people from all walks of life. He was a very empathetic man. He valued character over pedigree, and he was no cynic. He looked for the good in each person and usually found it. Dad taught us that public service is noble and necessary, and that one can serve with integrity and hold true to the important and values like family and faith. And he strongly believed that it was important to give back to the community in which one lived. He recognized that serving others enriched the giver's soul. My dad was a man of faith. He faced life's obstacles being sustained by the love of an almighty God and the real and enduring love of our mom. My dad knew how to be a true and loyal friend and he honored and nurtured his many friendships with his generous and giving soul. And over the years, there have been many officers who have shared that they didn't even think that my dad knew their name. But when they had suffered a tragedy or celebrated a joyous occasion, they received a handwritten note from dad, sympathizing, congratulating, and encouraging them. My dad had an enormous capacity to give of himself. Many people will tell you that dad had become their mentor and father figure. He listened, he consoled, and he was their friend. Of course, my dad taught us what it means to be a wonderful father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. You know, he was very firm in his principles and supportive as we began to seek our own ways. He encouraged us, he comforted us, but he never steered. And we tested his patience, I know we all did, but he always responded with the great gift of unconditional love. And he never shied away from telling us how proud he was of us and how much he loved us. You know, my dad to us was close to perfect. And every day of his 60 years of marriage, dad taught us all what it means to be a great husband. He married his sweetheart. He adored her, he laughed and cried with her, and he was dedicated to her totally. And of course, we gotta talk about law enforcement. My dad taught us another very special lesson. He showed us what it means to be a police chief and a sheriff who serves with integrity, leads with the courage, and acts with love in his heart for the citizens of our county. My dad will be remembered as a great chief and sheriff, a diplomat of unmatched skill, a commander-in-chief of formidable accomplishment, and a gentleman who executed the duties of his office with dignity and honor. My dad's decency, sincerity, and kind soul will stay with us forever, and we know the blessings of knowing a great and noble man and the best father a son or daughter could have. I have uh, 42 years of public service, uh, either at the city of El Centro or the county of Imperial. Of course, have served as the police chief of the city of El Centro, and as the sheriff coroner of this county, and I have a master's degree in public administration. I teach part-time at San Diego State in the, in the criminal justice program. And uh, so I've been very involved in this community uh, all of my life. And I've spent all my life here. I've spent all my life working, basically all of my adult life working for the, the people of Imperial County. I think I have a lot to offer. With my background, my experience, my education. Uh, a history of accomplishment in the positions I've held, the important positions I've held. I think we need to, to look at and work on a regional approach to government in this county. We can't just say what's good for El Centro, what's good for Brawley, what's good for Calexico. We have to say what's good for Imperial Valley. This is my county. I've lived here all my life. My children are here. My grandchildren are here. The future of my family is here. And I would like to make a positive impact on the future of this county.